I was really affected by it. I, I, I don't really usually cry at written words. You know, spoken words, there's something to give you emotion behind it, but the written word doesn't usually elicit that kind of an emotional response. But this movie, especially because it was true, it had a real effect on me. This is a public junior high school, Miss Dennis. There are special schools with wonderful facilities that might be more appropriate for his needs. Do you teach algebra and biology and English here? <laughs> of course. Those are his needs. Perhaps I should speak to the boy's father. Perhaps you should speak to the Pope, too. He'd be a lot easier to find. Because I do feel that for the good of my students, as well as your son, I'm going to need some additional information. Look, Mr. Sims, you know what? Don't jerk me around. I'm not in the mood. I've had a real crappy day so far. First, I find out that we're in the wrong school district. I got to come down here and play pussyfoot with you. This is a copy of our lease. This is a copy of Rocky's birth certificate. And this is his last report card from Stevens Junior High School, where he was in the top 5% of his class. And I got some additional information for you. Uh, my lawyer's name is B.D. Higgins. I didn't really identify with her um, exactly, because she and I have a really different lifestyle. But I kind of I could identify with her as a mother. And I could identify with some things about her. There are some things about her that, you know, even after I met her, I'll never be able to exactly identify with some of her characteristics. But I liked her. And I felt that uh, there was enough of something in me that I could make, make her come out. Gar, I can't um, write a letter to Rookie, and I miss him. You need sleep, Rusty. No, no. Come on. You help me. Come you help on. me. You help me write the letter, please. Dear Rocky, um, I miss you. And you're away at camp. You're not in your room. And and I miss you. And and I'm sorry that I was bad. And oh, Screech is here. And Gar is here. And I love you. Love Mom. Love Mom. With the little kiss. Have you got that, Gar? Do you think it's better that the fame, success as a serious actress has come to you now at this stage rather than when you were in your 20s? No, but better, you know, I've, you know, better late than never. But I think that uh, I'm happy that it's come now, but there are a lot of things I can't play now because I'm too old. And, and that bothers me a little bit. You know, it's, it's kind of a drag. Do you think that you're perhaps still a victim of the image you created for yourself in the 60s and 70s? I I image is not the most important thing, you know. I, people get really stuck behind it. And I, uh, I obviously have created some really strong ones because for a while it was really difficult to get out from behind. But I seem to manage to be able to break all of them. I create them and then break them. You've developed into one of the biggest sex symbols in America. Have you consciously worked on that? It's a, it's, I don't really feel like a sex symbol, you know. It, it doesn't have much meaning. I think that everyone wants to be sexy in a way, attractive. And so you do what you can do to be attractive. And then if someone labels it as whatever, then, you know, I mean, consciously I wore really interesting clothes. I mean, I was doing a television show. I wasn't, you know, being a teacher. So it doesn't make too much sense to, you know, go in a shirtwaist dress when you're, you know, when you're on television and singing songs. So, yeah, I mean, I, I had a real, I was very visible. And, and I think I like being attractive. So I don't know if you consciously go out of your way to be a sex symbol. I think that it just kind of happens. Would you like to marry again and perhaps have another child? I'd like to get, have a child, but I, I'm really nervous about getting married. Um, I don't know. I like the idea of marriage. I just don't like marriage. Why would you be nervous of getting married? I don't know if I can sustain it, you know? I don't, I don't know. Marriage is like you want to be with that person forever, and I just don't know if I can do that. 